your typical rainy summer day in Florida. But as soon as 7 p.m. rolled around, the weather moved east and it was the perfect time to take the Cub out for a micro cross country. In this flight, I flew to some really cool nearby airports. Most of my flights in the Cub have been on grass, so it's time to get more precise and master some pavement landings. We got a crosswind from the right. And away we go! It had been a few weeks since I flown the Cub, so to get comfortable, I did a quick three-point landing on the grass runway. After the quick practice landing, it was time to head about 10 miles west to the Leesburg International Airport. Lightning distant east. Density altitude 1,900. Leesburg Regional Airport, Leesburg, Florida. Automated weather observation 2350 Zulu. Wind 290 at 07. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 3 1 Celsius. I chose to head to Leesburg because it has a long and wide runway. I wasn't too sure how I'd handle the Cub on pavement, so I wanted some extra room in case things got out of hand. It also has a beautiful approach over Lake Harris and an upwind over Lake Griffin. The landings turned out to be much easier than I thought, and the runway was more than plenty. So, first up was the three point landing. Leesburg traffic, Piper Cub 71017, short final for runway 3 1 Leesburg. Oh, so easy. Leesburg traffic, Piper Cub, 71017, departing runway 31, making left, close traffic, Leesburg. So I thought the Cub would be a lot more unstable on pavement, but it actually handled it pretty well. If anything, I enjoyed how the tail was more responsive over the asphalt. So after that little confidence boost, it was time to try a wheel landing. All right, let's do a wheel landing this time. Better on center line. Oh, 
Leesburg traffic, Cypher Cub 71017, departing runway 31 for the east. Leesburg. So after a couple landings at Leesburg, I wanted to check out one of my favorite little airports called Umatilla Municipal. With a 2500 foot paved runway, landing there would really make me feel like I have a good handle on flying the Cub. It's also a beautiful airport, nestled in orange groves and farmland, and it's really close to the Cub's home base, just being about 5 miles to the north. Umatilla traffic, Piper Cub 71017, left downwind for runway 19, Umatilla. That's how you do it, boys. Umatilla traffic, Piper Cub 71017, back taxiing runway 19, Umatilla. So this was one of those landings that just made me feel good. I kept the plane pretty much on center line, and I improved my rudder control. Maybe it was because the runway was more narrow than Leesburg's, and it made me keep my focus a little bit better. Alrighty. What a beautiful little airport. Uh, let's go home. Umatilla traffic, Piper Cub 71017, departing runway 19, Umatilla. So here are a few things I learned from this flight. Number one, pavement landings definitely take more precision, but the plane still handles the same for the most part. Number two, I thought wheel landings on pavement were a little easier than on grass because the plane doesn't bounce around as much. And number three, in Florida summer, the afternoons make for a more beautiful flight than the mornings. Just keep an eye on the weather. Oh, we got the bird. Fly right past the bird. Oh yeah, and also keep an eye out for those pesky sandhill cranes. They love to walk in the middle of the runway. Alrighty, well thank you guys for watching. 
Uh, today was just a good little practice. I feel good about today's flight. Uh, yeah. Now I, now I feel that I know almost all aspects of this plane. And it's a fantastic plane. And I'm going to fly it as, as much as I can. Alrighty. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I'm really trying to grow this channel so I can reach out to other aviators and help the community grow. Feel free to comment or even message me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Blue skies and safe flying.